Man, fans everywhere were holding their breath leading up to the opening night of Endgame. The hype level was critical. People packed theaters across the globe and sat with bated breath looking to see if their theory was going to play out. You could not live with your own failure. We all knew Scott Lang would need to find a way out of the quantum realm. One camp thought he would time travel into the past and meet Hank Pym. Another camp thought he might end up in a different multiverse. There were theories like this everywhere. However, we want to know how many of you guessed it would come down to what actually happened. I like this one. Brownie points to whoever had a rat falls on the button and it releases him. You, sir or madam, are a wizard. Odds are no one saw this coming, and it answered a huge question we all had heading into the film. However, it also left us with another question we want to see if we can answer. Is this an old message? There have been many famous rats that made their way into pop culture. From Chuck E. Cheese to the New York Pizza Rat, tons of these rodents end up finding their way into the hearts and minds of all the people who see them. We think it's safe to say that the Endgame Rat is in the mix. Yes, at the end of the day, he is a silly plot device. We don't want to make this too big of a thing, but the rat did come out of nowhere. It was funny to watch. Like, Marvel knew we were all waiting for that huge moment, and their answer to all of our theories was a simple callback to the old fables and fairy tales we all know and love. Say what you want, that's a power move. Pay your respect to the MCU overlords. So the whole situation is a little bit simple. In all likelihood, the rat was simply a rat. It took five years for that random moment to happen. That kind of moment is within the realm of possibility. We don't want to downplay the reality presented to the viewer. All we are saying is to give these theories a chance. There might be more to this whole scene. We see this little fella as a big deal. That rodent is a hero. No joke, without that hero rat, the entire storyline doesn't happen. Whoa, that's so cool, bro! The characters don't get to move forward and discover this new plan. We want to emphasize that real quick, but spoilers. Without the rat, Tony never discovers time travel in the best way to move through time. Obviously, without the rat, Ant-Man never makes it back home and continues to roam through the quantum realm. Hello? If Scott Lang never escapes, then Captain America never gets his ending. So many plot points hinge on this one little thing walking across a button. That's wild! Which is why these theories are worth getting into. He, well, we assume that's the case. Anyway, he or she is such a key character at the end of the day. We want to believe that there was something more than random chance. Random chance is fine, but it'd be cool if the whole situation was something more. This is our wish list. From the least plausible to the most likely of explanations, we know, we know it's super likely the scene is just what it is. If that's the case, then let's just say that Ant-Man rolled a natural 20 on his saving throws. Okay, here's the least likely situation we think might explain the whole rat situation. To preface this next sentence, we expect some groans, but just hold out. It's possible. This rat was a scroll. We hear you doubters, so let's just lay this case out really quick. The Skrulls are shapeshifters. It was explained in Captain Marvel that this race of aliens can shift into just about anything. However, they don't really want to, especially if you ask them to turn into a filing cabinet. Since they can shift into anything, it's certainly possible that the rat was actually a Skrull. The power itself is there, the motivation is a lot more questionable. See, some Marvel fans are holding out on this secret invasion angle. They want the Skrulls to still be on Earth right now. It's possible that Captain Marvel wasn't able to broker a peace deal between the two warring groups. A group of Skrulls sought refuge on Earth and ended up observing humanity. How does the rat Skrull know where to rescue Ant-Man? Well, perhaps they've been watching them this whole time, or did some intelligence gathering and found the information through a secret agency. There are tons of possibilities, but none of them seem that likely. If the Skrull did use a rat's form to release Ant-Man, then they did it out of the kindness of their own heart. However, that would leave a lot more left unanswered and spoil the whole secret invasion plotline some people are holding on to. There is another theory with a better chance of actually working out. So the Skrulls are shapeshifters, but they aren't the only shifty characters in the Marvel Universe. In fact, they're not even the most famous users of that ability in the MCU. Yes, you guessed it, we're talking about Loki. Loki seems way more likely to pull something like this off. Think about it, his motivation fits the scene. Go on. The Skrulls would have no reason to go save Ant-Man. Loki has some real stakes in that moment. 
Without that button press, his life is gone. Boom! No more heir to the throne of Asgard. See, Loki is a character with believability. He is capable of surprises. We could be less conspicuous. Mm, brother. Disney Plus is giving him his own show, so that might be a place to put this tiny Easter egg. It wouldn't be a huge plot reveal that changes the fabric of the universe, it would simply offer a small nod to the fans watching and a different explanation. Some of the people watching this without seeing Endgame might be confused. If you're one of those people, first, go watch the movie. Second, good on you for powering through spoilers, not everyone can do that. Anyways, to catch everyone up, Loki survived by using the Tesseract during the failed heist attempt at the Battle of New York. He disappeared to an unknown location, but it means he is alive. Sadly, that detail brings out a complication in this theory. Look, we didn't say it was a perfect explanation. Loki is a player in the MCU thanks to this scene, but it leaves some questions. We're no time experts, but it's possible that Loki still exists in this timeline. It's plausible, but super unlikely. Professor Hulk explains during the first test runs that it would create a rift in a new reality. We see this explained further by the Ancient One during her appearance. In other words, Loki is alive in a different timeline. It would take some serious magic mumbo jumbo to bring him into the present day moment. Yeah, the Infinity Stones are powerful, but we're not sure that they're that powerful. Not to mention the fact that Thanos might still be alive in that separate timeline. I am. Traveling to the past complicates things a lot. We're not sure what the rules are here in the MCU. All we know is that Loki is alive, and the ability to make it to that moment is not out of the realm of chance. After all, Loki is the god of mischief. He wants to mix things up and cause some trouble. We have a Hulk. His primary motivation through most of the first two phases is to take over the throne. It's possible he achieves that end with the help of the Tesseract. Sitting on that much power gives him some wiggle room to maneuver. Asgard is home to some powerful ancient objects. Maybe, maybe one of them explains his decision to guarantee his successful rise to kingship. We're just spitballing here. I'm sorry about that thing with the Tesseract. However, we run into some more problems with this theory. Yeah, it's certainly not the most likely. It was indeed hilarious. <laughs> we'll be the first one to admit that problem. What puts it on shakier ground is the limits to Loki's ability. Yes, he can shift his shape to turn into other people momentarily. However, we don't know the extent of this deception. He probably can't turn into a rat. We don't know that for sure. That being said, we would be willing to bet on it. The personality we see from Loki makes us believe he's a chief suspect for the rat incident. We just can't square the motivation with his powers and place in the universe. If it's true and Loki really was the rat, then we need to explain a lot more of the events around that moment. For this theory to be true, we need to fit some round pegs into some square holes. The last theory we want to offer you comes straight out of left field. It's the most likely theory out of these three, but it doesn't mean it's super plausible. We just don't want to get you too excited. To be honest, we like this theory a lot. Here it is. It might be possible that Captain America made the rat happen. All right, hear us out. Time is a fickle thing. One little movement out of step and suddenly we are in a new scenario. Perhaps the rat we see came from a different version of Captain America. Hi, I'm Captain America. If timelines can split and diverge, there is no way of ensuring the one we watch is not being manipulated by other time travelers. Also, our Captain America travels back in time to place the stones in the correct spots, but the Pym Particle is no longer in short supply. He also never makes his return journey. It's a believable idea that he travels to that moment in time and ensures the rat lands in the right spot. Now, no theory is perfect. To manipulate the rat, Captain America needs to use the stones. He is a super soldier, but wielding an infinity stone would hurt him. We're not sure he would actually be able to wield any of them. He would literally have to place the rat in the right path if the infinity stones weren't used. Uh, think about that for a second. Imagine Steve Rogers trying to corral a rat towards the X-Con van. The sight of that alone would raise too many questions. We're also not sure how past actions affect the present. Again, there is a working theory based on what we know from Endgame. However, the evidence to support any of that is minimal. It's not even clear what Steve Rogers staying in the past did to the future. Are you ready for our dance? Still, we like to believe he knew the rat needed to make its move, so he found a way to assist it. Regardless of which theory you believe or don't believe, the best part of these ideas is the imagination behind it. Sure, a rat falling on the mechanism happened by pure circumstance. 
That's the likely scenario. We want to believe it's more because it brings a bit of extra spice to the universe. It's exciting to bring up these theories. It expands the realm of possibilities and gives us that wonderful gray area to live in. Ultimately, we get why Doctor Strange found so many outcomes. Think of how many realities involved no rat ending up in the ex-con van. It all makes so much sense now. Still, questions will always be there. Is the rat even that remarkable? Is it possible some other unseen character helped that happen? You're out of luck until you've gone duck. <laughs> Will the rat ever be mentioned again in the MCU? It's up to you to help us figure that out. Let us know what you think and follow us for updates. All you have to do is hit that link down below to be automatically subscribed.